hi how's everybody doing how's everybody doing hope your night's better than mine <laughs> what's new hello hello where's everybody tuning in from please tell me so i don't cry ew look at my hair What's poppin' everybody? Oh. Blue said, excuse me, this is my live. If you could just move, that'd be great. Uh, hi guys. Uh, hi guys, how's it going? Mom's crazy. Uh, if anybody wants to come rescue me, that'd be great. Uh, <laughs> oh no. Okay, bubby, lay down. Lay down. Yeah, it's, okay, come over here. Come over here. Okay, hey, dumb. You want water? What are you fussy about? No? Lay down. Dumb. Good boy. Relax. Take a load off. Alright, guys. Out of heat? Yeah, we're gonna be in a few hours. I might put my hat back on. This is crazy. Um... Momentum. Okay. So, you guys, yes, we are stranded currently. It's going great. Um, Eric said I could be there in 14 hours. Hit the road, buddy. <laughs> um, no, I'm just kidding. Hopefully I'll have it figured out by then. Um, so... I'm trying to wait just a minute because I don't want to have to like repeat the situation a bunch of times while everybody's like getting on and wondering what's going on. Um, so I'll just chat with you guys for a minute and then we'll get into like what's going on. But yes, we are stranded. <clears throat> oh my gosh, you guys are uh, everywhere. I am not still in Alaska. How's blue? Blue is doing better than me. <laughs> um, hi guys. Hi, hi, hi. Oregon, Florida. Nice. Hi from Denver. Come save me. I made coffee to calm my nerves. Do you guys think that 300 milligrams of caffeine will help me tonight? Do we perhaps think? Hi from Michigan, Canada. Hello, hello. Our friendly neighbors to the north. Hi guys. Hi from Hawaii. This is not Starbucks. This is um, North Pole Coffee Company. All right, so here's what's currently going on. Um, so I am camping on the side of a mountain right now, as I do. My, let me just preface this by saying Poe has been such a beast the last few weeks. Like this truck has just absolutely crushed the drive from Alaska through Canada down to Montana, got us to our next state. The, thing, the truck has been great. Anyways, um, it's a big snowstorm right now where I'm at, and uh, I was literally in the middle of filming like a stuck for a few days in a snowstorm type video because we literally were, it snowed like a foot in the last 12 hours, and um, so anyways, I've been turning Poe on like every few hours just to like cycle the battery and the engine and stuff and like when I run the diesel heater, it takes up the battery. So I've just been running Poe to make sure that he's not gonna die. And um, so I had run Poe for like two to three hours. This happened like, I don't know, four hours ago, something like that. 
shut the truck off for an hour, went to go restart the truck for an hour, and it's dead in the water. Like, it's not a dead battery. It's like I go, I put the key in and turn over and that no light comes on the dash. N absolutely nothing. Like, it's just dead. The headlights won't come on. Um, and so immediately I, call, I called Joel because <laughs> that's what I do every time anything happens with Poe. Also, just my poor Land Rover dealer. He's like, I sold you the truck. I didn't know I was like selling a nine to five mechanic job as well. But I called Joel immediately and was like, uh, I'm not getting any, any dash, anything. The truck started fine and was running beautifully an hour ago. Like, what do we think? And so I have checked the batteries. Everything is set up fine. I checked the fuses in the engine. They're fine. Um, it's not, I guess it's not the ignition switch, Joel said, because if it was the ignition switch, the headlights would still come on. It's just like this bizarre shut off of Poe. Here's my pickle, okay? My pickle is that I am three hours and several snowstorms away from the nearest mechanic that will touch Poe. AAA will take me there, but I'm on the side of a mountain that's covered in like a foot of snow and nobody can get up here. And I only have one night left of my diesel heater before my batteries die and the alternator isn't running to get it to charge. So I have one night left of heat. AAA will only pick me up from the bottom of the mountain and I have no way to get there. So I am stranded on the top of a mountain under a foot of snow. No one will get me. AAA comes tomorrow morning. I only have one night of heat. And that is where I'm at currently. Yes. So I figured naturally I would go live to see if anybody has any idea of what you think is wrong with Poe. Yes, I tried the jump starter pack and it won't even register that I have a battery. Like usually you set it on and then it'll say like ready to go and you can boost it. That was the first thing I did before I even tried to call Joel. It's not a bad battery because my diesel heater is still running. And if my, and like the back lights turn on. So the auxiliary battery works. It's, and if it was a bad battery, like the dash lights would still come on. It just wouldn't turn over. And it was running pr beautifully an hour before. It's not a loose battery cable. I already checked all of those. It's not the alternator because it would still show something. My brother thinks it's a ground cable. Hi, sorry guys. I don't know if this is still going or working. I had to take a phone call. Um, yeah, my only hope for getting me off the mountain just said they can't. So I'm screw I'm actually screwed now. Um, yeah, so that's great. The guy that just told me he can't come to get me told me to call 911. So that stresses me out. Um, yeah, my brother thinks it's a ground cable too, but all the cables look fine. So I, I don't know. It's not a dead battery. Yeah, sorry, I had to answer a phone call. So I am screwed. I really don't want to call 911. I feel like that's so scary to me. You guys, I can't get an Uber. Like nobody can get up this mountain. I don't think it's the alternator because it went from running perfectly to not even dash lights coming on. And in the past when my alternator has went out, like I did deal with a bad alternator once, it would just, like you would still see dash lights.
are your lights running off your aux battery? Yes, they are. But when I went to go, it was running an hour before though. So how would that make sense? And when I went to jumpstart it, it, you know what the other thing is, is that, um, my little ba battery relay that connects like when I, cause that was my first thought was like, oh, the battery died. And I went to connect my solenoid that connects both batteries and it wouldn't, um, it doesn't work at all anymore. Like it won't connect the two batteries. Nothing makes my dash lights come on. There's no way my alternator complete, like, I don't think it's the alternator because I have dealt with bad alternators before and it's not like this at all. That's a ground if there's no lights on the dash. Wiggle the cables or take them off. Yeah, see, I tried to, uh... It's not a blown... I've checked all of my fuses. In both the engine bay and on my dash. And it's not any fuses. The issue is that there's such a big storm coming through where I'm at right now that everybody, all of the off-road recovery people are off saving people that are like stranded on the highway. Nobody can come up here. There's no computer in Poe. I don't want to call the police. I feel like that's so dramatic. I can't roll start the car because I'm not on an incline. Jackery's got like two days left on charge, but that's not my issue. My issue is the diesel heater because that's only going to get me through one more day. And then my aux battery is going to be dead. So, it's not good. Check connections at the back of the starter. My belt, I only have, well, two belts, the timing belt and the serpentine, and they're both good, like brand new. Yeah, my Garmin is fully charged. I, <laughs> oh, I don't have the buddy heater or any of my Arctic gear because the, ugh, I don't want to like give everything away, but whatever, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, the video that I filmed before this one was me totally gutting out Poe because I'm, I'm now in supposed, was supposed to be in better weather. And so I took all of my Arctic gear and put it in storage. So I have nothing with me. I have enough like blankets to get through the night if the diesel heater goes out, like, Blue and I will live, but, um, that's it, so, and the, like I said, the diesel heater will work for one more night before it drains the battery. I don't think it's the alternator, because why would it be r starting and running totally fine, and then an hour later, not even a light on the dash comes on? It doesn't make sense.
The storm is supposed to be done in like two days. Headlights don't come on. Okay, but my thing is, is like this, okay, the starter battery can't be fully dead because I have run the starter battery down before. Like one time I left the diesel heater on all night and it ran the starter battery down. Every single time the battery has almost died from cold weather, from being run down, whatever, I always can use the relay system to connect to the, uh, the auxiliary battery and start myself. Or I can take my little jumper cables and I can jump myself and neither of those things are working at all on the main battery. Your charger is not recognized in the battery because it's not grounded. That's what I thought, but the ground is on there, like, fine. Here, I'll take you, I'll take you guys over there. Um, and we will check it out together. How does that sound? One second. Oop. Yeah, I will let all of you mechanics look at it and you can tell me. I already did that. Somebody said, put the ignition in run mode and then go wiggle the leads on the battery with the lights on. I tried to do that already and I like turned my blinker on so that I could hear if something connected. Nothing. All right, let's go look. Ooh. Sorry, Bubby. Blue's like, mom, what is this, you guys, if on this live we can get this car running, or this truck running, I will freak out. I will cry and give everybody $50. I'm just kidding. I can't afford that. <laughs> but it sounds good, doesn't it? Okay. I'm trying to think of what is the best way to, like, light this for you guys. Because I'm trying not to turn on any of my ox lights. Let me see if I can finesse. Okay, that's working. Okay. Um, how do I... Okay, so... <sighs> this is what I'm working with. That's... <laughs> this is such a mess. That's the back. The black battery is the aux battery. This is my main start battery. So, obviously, my terminals are fine. This is the relay system. Um, so, yeah, Joel and I went... Oh, my gosh, this is, like, so hard to show and have light on. Joel said... I think we went through the ground already. But like everything back here is like all tight. So I don't, I don't know. What is, what is my ground exactly? Tap on the relay station. Tap. Black wire is ground. This is like totally on tight and fine.
The battery is brand new. Like, a few months ago. Can I look further? Okay, so here's where it's... See, it's attached right there. And then it goes out. Where does the ground wire connect to the truck? Do you guys want me to go outside and look? Because I can. Okay, so just before I go outside and start messing with stuff, this looks okay to everybody, right? A multimeter would save a lot of time and effort, but unfortunately I don't have one when I need it. Okay, so this all looks good to everybody, right? Because that's what I thought. <gasps> Crankshaft failure! Don't say that. Okay, hold on. Um, uh, actually, while I'm up here, let me show you guys the situation. Can you imagine if I just turned Poe on and it works? <laughs> I would be so happy, like I just wiggled something the right way. Yeah, nothing, see? That's, that's, this is what happens when I turn on the key. Nothing, this is me turning on the ignition, nothing. Nothing. So, that's where I'm screwed. And like I said, I don't see anything. And, actually, while I'm here, let me just show you guys. This is what happens, okay? When I go to jump. I love that I'm doing all of this upside down. Hold on. I'm gonna have to set you guys down for a minute. like in the back connect do it wish you guys could see the gymnastics I'm doing right now to get this on okay so this is what happens with where's my starter pack here you are okay it's at 100% it's chilling Okay, turn it on. Usually it'll say ready, and it no, it doesn't do anything. You got a boost? Nothing. Nothing. It won't even recognize it. So, that's what's going on. All right, so I'm gonna take you guys outside then and we can freeze together. And we can look at a bunch of wires. I have checked fuses. Um, I checked the fuses in the engine bay and they are, hi honey, and they are good to go. Um, so it's not a fuse issue. Swap the two batteries. I only have a screwdriver. 
because also you know what I did this you know what maybe maybe the haters are right and maybe I am stupid because uh when I was doing the cleaning out video I had a like my ratchet set was like half of it was missing so I was like let me just get a new one and I'll just put this one in storage for extras and then I forgot to get a new one before coming out here so I don't I only have a screwdriver I have no tools because I just put mine in storage so love it all right I am so unprepared like this is annoying okay this is annoying but it's just because I forgot. Like, it's not like I travel without tools. Like, I, I guess I just did. But um, it's just because it was, like, missing stuff. And I was like, I can't have missing sockets and stuff like that. Because what's that going to do me? So then I was just like, I'll grab a new one. And then I forgot. <sighs> this is what I subbed for. Glad my suffering is of use. Sorry, I'm reading. I have a single screwdriver. That's what I have. Okay. Everybody's saying it's a ground, and I feel like it's a ground, too. So, that's also what my brother thinks. And that's also what Joel said. So, let's go check the grounds together. Triple A won't come get me because I'm up a mountain. I already called him. Okay. Let's do this, party people. Actually, let me put on a Patagonia first because I'm going to freeze. Okay, bub. I was like, what the heck, mom? I was just trying to have a good time. If it was the starter though, you guys, it wouldn't be affecting the batteries like this. Hi, Xavier. Oh my gosh, it was so nice to meet you too. Thank you for the free coffee again. I actually put you in my one of my videos I filmed that day. Shouted you out. Worried about me? Me too. Okay. You know, when I post this video, because I'm filming it all, when I post this video and everybody tells me I'm stupid, I'm going to start agreeing. Okay. <laughs> All right, here we go. Be right back, bub. Okay. Look. Fun snow. The snow was supposed to stop, by the way, and it didn't. Love that. Okay. What am I even looking at here? The battery box is right here. So this is my ground then, right? Yeah. Or is it on the other? Oh, is it on the other side? I don't know, you guys. What am I even looking for? That ground isn't on this side. Should I be... Hold on. I'm reading. It's not a transmission sensor. There's no such thing on a Defender. Right? I said that so confidently and I don't know. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't have any... 
anything like that. Get the jump pack and hook red to main battery and black to aux battery. Is that something I should try to do? Would that, would that tell us if the ground is the issue? Really quick, can somebody tell me if I should do that? Yes, do that. Okay. So hook the red part to the main battery and the black part to the other battery. Is that what we're saying? Are blacks any... Yeah, the issue is I don't have any, like, metal around. Okay, I'm saying yes and no. Eric said yes. A lot of people are saying no, though. Why? Why not do that? Give me a reason. <laughs> oh no, Timmy's in the chat. Don't worry, Timmy. I'm just stranded and gonna die. Do you want to hear how stupid I am? Let's fill in a uh, truck house life really quick. Hey, bud. Um, okay, you guys, so you think I should switch, or do the positive to the, let's try that, and we'll go from there. I'm stranded on the side of a mountain with a totally dead in the water truck, for anybody just tuning in, and, um, I don't know why, because the truck was running fine an hour before, and now the dash lights won't even turn on. So we think it's a grounding issue. But I only have one night left of heater, or heat in my diesel heater before it drains the aux battery and then I'm really screwed. So. All right, let's go try the jump again and see if that does anything. I also, I also have no tools because I just gutted out Poe from Alaska and I took out all of my Arctic gear, which I need now. I took out all of my Arctic gear and my tools had a bunch of missing sockets. And so I put them in storage as backups. And I was like, I need to go buy a whole new set of tools because I can't have missing tools on the road. And then I forgot to stop and get new tools before I came here. So now I have nothing but a screwdriver and a jump pack. Okay. Now that we're all on the same page of why I have branded myself the way I have. No, my headlights are not working at all. Excuse me, bub. Excuse me. But I, this is serious. Here, I'll show you in a second what's going on. Headlights don't work. Dash lights don't come on. It's not, it doesn't even try. Okay? Yeah, and the off-road recovery guys that I tried to get to come help me told me to call 911, and I don't want to do that. So, here's what's happening. The auxiliary battery obviously still works because my diesel heater is working. And, uh, okay, how do I do this? Okay, so, here is the dash, okay? This is me turning the key on. This is me trying to turn it over. It's dead. So everybody thinks it's a grounding issue. Okay, so let's try this again. So you guys are saying, and then my jumpers also don't register this battery at all. But, wait, I just thought of something. If it's a grounding issue, then I'm not going to be able to jump this no matter what, right? Uh, I don't Okay. Okay. So where do I put this? On the auxiliary battery? Somebody say yes or no. I don't, somebody told me, I don't know if this is a lie or not, but somebody told me this is aluminum, so I can't do it here. Put it on the auxiliary battery ground? Okay. That's what I'm going to try. Okay. 
Before you do anything, make sure your battery terminal clamps are tightened down and wiggle really. Okay. I already did that though. <sighs> they don't do anything. Oh my gosh. Yeah, they're on there really, really tight. Terminal clamps are. Whoops, sorry. I think I accidentally just put someone in timeout and I didn't mean to. My bad. I can't, you guys, I can't disconnect the battery because all I have is a screwdriver. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so back to trying to register this jump. So, where's my, so if I can get this on the aux ground, that's not going to blow me up. Somebody please tell me yes or no. Any of the mechanics are on the chat, please. Search and rescue. That is so embarrassing. I would rather freeze to death. Oh my gosh, what are we saying no about? Okay, oh, Eric. So Okay, Eric, I put this on the aux ground, and that's not going to do anything between the two batteries, right? I would never let Blue freeze. I would have somebody come pick up Blue <laughs> and save him. Okay. All right. I'm going to have to set you guys down because this is a very... Oh, my gosh. It's really hard to get, too. So let me set you guys down really quick. Ugh. I remember trying to do this once, and it took me, like, 20 minutes. Oh my gosh, I almost got it on the first try. Oh my gosh, I got it! She's a mechanic. Okay, so let's see what happens, shall we? Nothing. Ooh. Yeah, it's doing the exact same thing. Um. So now what do we think? Eric, you think it's the solenoid? Yeah, that's what Joel said too, but I called Charlie in Alaska who installed that, and he said that if it was the solenoid, I wouldn't be getting power to my auxiliary, which is uh, doing the diesel heater. So that doesn't make sense. Battery solenoid is stuck open. Well, what do I do? <clears throat> Guys, it is in neutral for whoever keeps saying that. Have I tried to start it connected like that? No, because it's not even... Or actually, I think I did before. But it's just not even registering at all. <clears throat> but I'll give it a whirl. Yeah, there's nothing. Still dead. So now what? I did turn the switch with the pack on. Nothing's happening. <laughs> Slow mode is on. Hook up to the aux battery. Like try to. Like try to jump the aux battery
Loose cables are not... Is, the cables are totally fine on the starter. It did not spark a little. I can't call Cena. He's in Washington. Although I did offer to fly him out here if he could go save me. <laughs> but he has work, so. I doubt a 24-hour travel day is worth it to him to come out here. I did check fuses. I don't know, maybe I'll uh, go open the uh, hood. Cause somebody said it could be something there, right? See if the jumper registers the aux battery. Okay. Un momento. Yes, it does. It registers the aux battery, not the main. What does that mean? It's a ground then, right? Main battery ground. I don't think it's dead because it started. I think it's a ground because it started perfectly fine an hour before. Like, no issue at all. Not even like a little fight to get started. But, yes, a battery can die within an hour, but anytime I've totally drained my main battery, I can still get lights on the dash. Yeah, the jump pack does recognize the aux battery. I have been wiggling them though and they're all fine. <sighs> Yeah, there, it has to be something to do with the ground because the that's why it's not registering it at all. Yeah, it's not a fuse. I've checked every single fuse. Nothing is blown. Um, so where would a ground be? 
under the hood. Should be grounded to the frame. So like under the Christian, under the hood, like it goes into the engine bay or like to the underside of the car. On the side of the fender wheel under the hood. Okay, well, let me go check that. Thank you, Brandon. That was very kind of you. Okay, hold on. Let me put my boots on and, uh, hold on. Un, un, un momento. Let's go outside. You guys, how cool would this be if we got post started on live? That would be pretty iconic, right? Just saying. We get this truck going on live, I will cry. Okay? Just everybody be forewarned. Triple A you work for, tell them to come up the mountain and get me. <laughs> okay. Hold on. All right, Bubby, I'll be right back, okay? Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Okay. <sighs> oh my gosh, that looks so creepy. Snow is heavy, holy cow. Okay. All right. Okay, somebody said, should have started this live in, when it was daylight. All right, where am I looking for this ground? Somebody tell me. I honestly, you guys, I should have Googled this. I don't know. You said it's to the frame? Is my brother in here? Christian. 
<laughs> Someone said, please contact her family. Um, so I'm looking for... That's not that. Just the fender. So under, not up there. Ooh. What's that one? But where does that go? Is the question. I think it's. Hold on. All right. I'm going to call Eric, you guys. I'll be right back. <sighs> Hi, guys. Back again. Um, one minute. One moment. Okay. Man, what a freaking night. Okay, um, I was just on the phone with Eric and we, we checked the ground wire and it was fine. So I think my plan of attack, I need water? Hey, yeah, drink the water. Um, I just sent the ground wire. I literally was laying in the snow under Pell, like curled under and sent the picture to Eric. And um, it looks okay to me. I think my plan of attack is to see if I can pay like an off-road recovery group to either bring me tools because I actually am an idiot and forgot to buy new. I'm just like never gonna hear the end of that in my comments and I just know it. Like I'm just like, do I even post this video? I just know I'll never live it down. No, it's fine. Um my love language is bullying. After all, um my plan of attack is to see if a four by four off-road group will <laughs> literally just come up here and bring me tools so that I can swap my batteries. You gotta go potty? Go potty then. Um, and then if that doesn't work, see if they can tow me down the mountain and I'll get AAA to help me tomorrow. That's my plan of attack. <sighs> yeah. Timmy said, found a really common problem. Look behind your key at your ignition. Make sure no red or black wires... I don't think I have, I'll go up there. I don't think I have anything that I can like see though. That's exposed. But let me go check. I am desperate at this point. Where's my flashlight? Oh, hello, Popper Lou. Are you going potty? Man, the snow is insane. Like. It wasn't even supposed to snow, and it's been like a foot all day. Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, what am I looking at? Someone said to wiggle my key also. Nothing is working. Where am I looking? Sorry, I'm trying to read. Um, what is 
is going on? I'm just like wiggling wires at this point. I'm probably causing more problems than anything. Yeah, nothing is happening. I don't know, you guys. I gotta go back up, Bubby. Hold on. Where are you, kid? Bubby. Blue. Come here. Come on. <laughs> He's pooping. Good boy. It is really pretty here though, guys. I will say that. Look at this freaking snow. Like, are you joking? So, yeah, I have no headlights. I have auxiliary lights because they're hooked up to the battery that's not dead, but that's all I've got. Good job, Bubby. Come on. Come on. Bubby, come. 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 Up, up. Up, 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 up. Good boy. Poor Kit. Okay. We're really going to hump everything right now. Poor Kit had like a snow day. We've been inside the whole time. He's like probably s driving himself nuts. Good job, baby. Okay, lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Lay down. Do it. Good boy. He's like not gonna lay down. Nice try though. I did try my uh, battery jumper. It won't register the battery. See, that makes no sense though, because if my ground isn't bad, why is it not registering my um? battery it doesn't make sense i'm not gonna call non-emergency police because that seems so dramatic to me and that i don't want to i don't want to do that i think what i'm going to try to do is yeah i do have actual jumper cables i did i already tried wiggling um wires with the key on i did all that like four hours ago Jumper cables from aux positive to main positive should bypass isolator and a bad. It should bat. Okay, wait, Matt. So that'll bypass the bad main battery, even if it's ground out. Because if so, I'll go do that right now. <laughs> See, my only, uh, my fear with that though, is that, that it's going to drain my good battery, which runs my diesel heater. And I can't, I don't want to risk not having my diesel heater tonight because I <laughs> think like, I'm going to need some sort of heat. But isn't that gonna... So you're saying just take the jumper cables, hook them up between the batteries, and then just see if my dash lights turn on? See, but then, okay, so that is weird though, because why wouldn't this, why wouldn't the solenoid work? You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't... Because the solenoid is basically just doing that job. If it's ground out, then it won't work. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm so invested in this Me Too girl. <laughs> like, I'm trying to get out of here. If bad, okay, so if I do this and it doesn't work, then essentially it's just like a, a guaranteed bad ground. All right, this will be my last ditch effort. I will try this, and if it doesn't work, then I'm gonna, my issue is that these rescue groups out where I'm at right now are, because this blizzard is so bad, every, they're out helping everybody, nobody can come get me. So I'm just a little nervous that any sort of draining of the auxiliary battery is gonna make my diesel heater not work, and then I'm literally out of heat. I can't believe I don't, I can't believe I put my tools in storage. Honestly, I had so many uh, sockets missing, I doubt I even had the right ones. Watch the clamps don't short anything out. Okay, you guys are freaking me out, hold on. All right, I'm actually gonna turn on the diesel heater just for like <laughs> a few minutes, <laughs> just to like trap some heat in here, just in case something does fry. You guys, I have AAA and I, I have AAA scheduled to come tomorrow morning at 9 a.m., but they will only meet me at the bottom of the mountain. They can't make it up here. So, like, I have to have some sort of off-road group tow me down or I have to figure out how to fix Poe. And then if I fix Poe and get this truck running, I am driving three hours through the snowstorm to get to a Defender shop tomorrow. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love seeing Matt Skinner get mad. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm just going to chat to you for like 5-10 minutes while I let the deezer, deezer, diesel heater kick on. And then we will go attempt one last ditch effort. It's not a fuse. And the ground looks fine, so what the heck? Not ignition switch related because the lights would still come on. If I was on an incline, I would 100% just put Poe in neutral and <laughs> try to get as far down as I can. You wonder what my dad is saying right now? I guarantee you my dad is going to watch this or catch wind of it and be like, that's my idiot kid. That's exactly what he's going to say. My mom is going to be like, you poor honey bun, what happened? And my dad is going to be like, you freaking idiot. Red to red and black to black momentarily will tell you if it's the battery. Okay, wait. What? Sorry, I'm, you guys, these comments, I'm trying to catch up. <laughs> yeah, okay, actually, that's a good point, because these batteries all are wired up to the solenoid, so I, and it's actually not even a solenoid, it's a relay. So is that going to affect anything? I should probably ask Charlie before... Honestly, I just want somebody to bring me tools <laughs> so I can swap my batteries. That's all I need. Yeah, if I have a bad battery, not connection, fuses, or ground, then this isn't going to do anything anyways, right? I 
already did put in a call for help and everybody has shot me down. Everybody hates me. It's personal. They said, oh, you're that stupid YouTuber? No thanks. Learn your lesson for once. That's what they said. <laughs> My dad talked to them. <laughs> Are you able to remove that relay? I don't think so. Yeah, I'm a little scared I'm going to fry something if I try to jump. I think I'm just going to try to get somebody to come out here and bring me a set of tools so I can swap batteries and just hit the road. This is very roaming reckless. I think, you know, I think that I do have positives and negatives to my personality and a lot of times it's the exact same thing. Like I am delusionally happy at all times. The worst thing in the world could happen to me and I'm just like, okay, that's fine, no big deal unrelated to blue I'm a mess when it comes to blue but like anything can I'm just like sure but in that same token I also am just delusionally oblivious to shit I need to be paying attention to pardon my French wait actually we already tried that and it didn't register with the uh, negative. Yeah, see, so that doesn't make sense either because when we tried jumping, we put the negative terminal on the auxiliary battery and the positive on the main. I don't know. I think, I don't know. I think, uh, it's not the timing though. <laughs> Yeah, um, Bo is offering to come to you. Bo, where are you located? Thank you, Michael. I know, I'm kind of scared of that too. Are you a serial killer, yes or no? I know, I know. I feel like I do need to actually reach out to like a actual business because that freaks me out too. Um, Everybody that's offering to help me, if you can DM me on Instagram, I would appreciate it. I'm, I think I'm gonna end this live and I'm gonna try to hit up some more people. I also have friends that are looking for me right now um, for groups, so I'm gonna see what they say. But I can't talk, I can't answer text messages or anything when I'm on live stream, so I kind of have to get off to figure all this out. Yeah. All right, you guys, I'm going to hop off live and try to figure this out. Uh, I guess stay tuned for when this video goes live. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thanks. Bye. Bye.